What's going on, guys? It's Justin from the Film and Everything podcast. Uh, Morbius trailer just came out. I want to start doing little like trailer reactions with you guys, and hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Um, this is our first one. Let's see. We're gonna check out Morbius. Jared Leto. Let's check it out. Michael, I've known you since you were a child. <laughs> How many times have we seen this? Kid getting beat up on the floor by a bunch of kids. Seen it like six times this year. If there's an answer to the disease, you'll find it. In association with Marvel. I should have died years ago. Alright. Why am I still here if not to fix this? I have a rare blood disease, and I'm running out of time. This could be my last chance. You're up to something. What is it? That's not exactly legal. Okay. I want to see you get hurt more than you already have. This would be a cure. No. At what cost? Alright. Still trying to pick up a vibe from this trailer. Uh, Alright. Studio that brought you Spider Man movies. Get fans hyped up. Venom, eh. Venom was okay. What's happening? I went from dying. I feel like more alive than ever. Increased strength and speed. Slow motion shot. The ability to use echolocation. Kind of looks like a vamp from Metal Gear Solid 2 a little bit. Kind of reminds me of that. And there's Spider-Man in the background. Tyrese Gibson's in this. That should be great. Go fix something that's broken. Until the remedy. Okay. Is worse than the disease. Oh, no. all right. That's pretty scary. Huh. Okay. Michael Morbius. Got tired of doing the whole good guy thing. Huh? What's up, Doc? Uh, Michael Key. Interesting. Um. Hmm. Okay, so this is clearly going to be in the MCU. Michael Keaton's Vulture comes out in there. When does this take place? I'm assuming maybe sometime after Far From Home. But Michael Keaton should be in jail. Maybe he broke out by then. Uh, let's see what we got here. Him as a kid getting bullied. We've seen that many times before. Gets kicked in the face. Yeah, there it is. Uh, just kind of like his childhood here. So he has this rare blood disease, Nobel Prize in physiology or medicine. Okay, so he's a smart guy. Looks a little weird there, but that's okay. An association with Marvel. From the looks of this, this is going to be somehow connected to the MCU. What I'm hearing is... Anything that happens in the MCU affects Sony's universe, but it's not the other way around. So, I guess that's Marvel's way of, like, they're not going to pick up any of their Sony's mess or anything like that. Whatever happens in Sony's universe stays in Sony's universe, but it kind of gives Marvel a chance to do their thing with Spider-Man. Spider-Man pops into the Sony universe, probably does its thing, but it doesn't affect the MCU. Uh, I guess it's Marvel's, you know, playing it safe because, you know, Sony does okay. Uh, let's see here. He's trying to test for a cure. So, this is probably like the whole first act of the movie. I hope we don't get him. 
fully morphed out as Mor- Morbius, like, towards the end of the movie, the last 20 minutes. Hopefully the pace can be pretty quick here. Um, I don't know what vibe I'm getting from this trailer. Hmm. Let's see, this is him going to do his thing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm kind of getting a generic Sony movie again vibe. I don't know. I have a feeling it's going to be kind of like another Venom. I don't know what rating this movie is. Uh, if it's rated at R, probably not. I'm going to guess it's PG-13. Um... Let's see, yeah, uh, that's him testing it out. It's happening right there. Maybe he starts becoming into the Morbius. Okay, all right, Jared Little got in shape. Character itself looks cool. Um, I'm hoping they don't just settle too much on this slow motion stuff here. And they try to get creative with it. That looks pretty cool. I can see this being rated R. If it's going to be rated R, not sure. That's Spider Man in the back right there. That kind of looks like a. Uh, Toby Maguire Spider Man. Um, doesn't look like Tom Holland's. It says murder, murderer. So, not sure what's going on there. He's breaking out of jail. Tyrese Gibson's got like this cyborg arm going on. Cyborg arm? Not sure. Don't like Tyrese Gibson. Uh, not sure why he's in this, but I guess we'll take it. He does kind of pay to be in movies, so maybe that's the case. I don't know. Not a big fan. Uh, let's see. I don't know who this guy is. All right. This looks like a cool scene, if done right. Um, again, could be rated R. I don't think it is. That's that's pretty scary right there. That's what I want to see. Um that's pretty intimidating. I would like to see Tom Holland Spider Man going off against this guy. What would that be like? Um, why is this here? I am not sure, guys. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, can this like get out of here? Uh. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. It looks interesting. Not sure. I'm not super pumped. I am this little extra scene, Michael Keaton. You know, that's just Sony pretty much saying, look, we're connected to the MCU somehow. Let's bring those fans in. It's a good way to market this movie and and kind of bring the fans in for sure. It got me. It's I'm I'm interested. Uh, I just don't know if this is going to be good or not. Um, not a big fan of Venom. I think this is going to be similar to Venom. Uh, Venom was a little bit generic for me. It was kind of average. I know that was supposed to be rated R. Then they had to cut it down last minute. I don't know what this rating for this movie is going to be. Alright, so after looking this up, yeah, it's definitely... Doesn't look like it's going to be rated R. Probably a PG-13. It's going to be interesting to see how they pull that off. Especially he's kind of like this like vampire. He's cutting people up. Eating them and stuff like that. Not sure what they're going to do there. I'm interested in this movie though. I don't know when, when does this come out. Uh, let's see. Michael Keaton. Oh, okay, it comes out this summer. Uh, yeah, this film is not rated yet. So we don't know the rating don't know yeah guys i don't know i don't know how i feel about this one i i have a feeling it's gonna be average kind of like venom uh there were parts of venom i did enjoy maybe there'll be parts of this that i'll enjoy 
but I'm not fully convinced yet. I do like that they're trying to create um, this within the MCU, bringing in Vulture in there, start teasing. Maybe, I guess they're going to start doing Sinister Six. Uh, Sony's been trying to do that since Amazing Spider-Man. That didn't work out. Um, they got Tom Holland now, though. He's a great Spider-Man. I like Tom Hardy as Venom. It's just the movie itself. It, you can tell it definitely had issues, um, and they kind of changed their minds last minute. Um, I don't know, guys. Let's see. Let's see. What do you guys think? Uh, are you guys excited for this? You're still a little bit on the iffy side like me. Where do you stand? I don't mind Jared Leto as Morbius. I think that he looks pretty cool. Um, we got a glimpse of how he's going to look fully morphed out. Uh, I think that looks interesting, too. It looks scary. I would like to see Spider-Man go off against them, give us something different, something hopefully a little darker than what we're getting in the MCU. Because I don't think the MCU is going is going to be changing anytime soon or trying to be bold with things. Uh, Doctor Strange director just left from, due to creative differences. My guess is due to him wanting to do a horror film, Marvel not wanting to do a horror film. Especially when Kevin Feige came out talking about how it's not a horror film. So, from the looks of it, MCU is just going to keep playing it safe after Endgame. Um, all we really have left that I'm looking forward to is Spider-Man. So, I hope that Sony can pull this off. Uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on this? Are you excited? Am I wrong on this? Let me know. Alright guys, I'm going to be doing more of these. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll definitely be getting more used to it. I'll do better on the trailer scroll. I know I kind of suck on that, but we'll be, we'll be getting better. Thanks guys.